red fire goes on the plus and the black fire goes on the plus. They come here, they get to learn all about engineering, they get to learn that there are no mistakes. That's something that's very important to us. When you come here, there are no tests. Founded in 2011, the Brooklyn Robot Foundry offers something most public schools do not, after school and summer programs for kids to learn engineering skills. I was a design engineer for many years, and every time you design a project, it doesn't work the first time. That's just life. And you're gonna keep doing these iterations to get something that actually functions and is cool. We teach them that this is a, this is a, there is a design process, and the, your first thing is probably not gonna totally work, and that is awesome. What is the magnet? The Foundry's teaching approach is catching on. They've already opened a second location in Manhattan and hope to expand to other cities. There are a lot of engineers who are, you know, uh, at retirement age, like my father, and I think he would be really great if he had, you know, a job after retirement where he could come and work and really inspire other kids. We're teaching teachers a couple of the lessons that we do and align it to the core curriculum so that they can see kind of how it fits in with, with the testing standards, but allows kids the creativity to do the building that we do here. While many of the students are of school age, the Foundry isn't just for kids. We've done adult birthday parties before. We had somebody's 30th birthday party here. Bring in some wine, they build robots. It's, it's really a fun thing. We have a lot of requests from adults, uh, parents too, where they say, my child's really into this. Um, and I don't know anything, could you give us like a 101 class where we could learn some of the stuff that you teach the kids? So I definitely think that's in the short term something that, that we will be doing. And the kids already have pretty big ideas of what their robots will be doing in the future. I think that robots will be really important in the future. I think that they could do your homework. <laughs> I'd make a robot that cleans my room. Because I'm kind of tired of cleaning my room all the time. Matt Stewart, CNN Money, New York.